Do you think that wall mounted solar panels are a good option for us here in the UK? Well, stick around in this video, let's find out together because I think I've got the perfect wall for it. Anyway, you'll get some better shots later on with some better camera work. But I think you can see that we need to do some investigation together. So subscribe to the channel for more content like this. This is the perfect day to illustrate why I need some more solar panels. Because although I've got 22 panels up there, 9.5 kilowatt peak, I'm currently with the perfect blue skies and perfect sunshine, we're generating 1,100 watts. Can you see that shadow up there cast by the eaves? And on the side of the house, you can see which direction the sun's coming from. So I'm currently looking at the house from a south, um, almost perfectly south aspect. And unfortunately, those panels over there face southeast and get shaded. So this is why I think this wall is the perfect complement. Southwest facing, and there you go. Wow, now we've got the perfect sunshine. Just a cheeky four panels up there. Maybe five, maybe six. Let's do some forecasting do some modeling and see what we think here's a nice grainy time lapse which i think with this was september time something like that maybe august time and as you can see the sun moves around the building quite quickly and there's a fair amount of daylight on that southwest gable already but as we now go past midday you can see that as that sun moves around on that wall we have some strong sunlight there uh, pretty much until depending on what month of the year but 3 4 p.m absolutely no problem at all especially that little top section up there you can see as it goes up to the top of the gable end anyway i'm totally waffling waffling this is just a little bit of a demonstration that i recorded and then as you get into the evening of course it's all in shade but typically by that point, I've got plenty of generation on the southwest side. So I'm not very good with Photoshop, but here was a quick go of what I envisioned it could be with four panels on there doing a very basic thing. And then I asked Gemini to have a go at it. And Gemini, for some reason, put two panels on the roof and it wouldn't listen to me. It wouldn't take them off. But there's an interesting idea with eight panels on the gable end. Okay, so the important part is actually how much is this going to generate? How is it going to be worth it? So I've put in a local address to me here in Southampton, stop uh, pop-ups, and uh, you should be able to see now that I've put a 90 degree slope, an azimuth of 45, and um, two kilowatts. So this is just for four panels and not factoring in any specific... Um, shading or anything like that so we're not going to generate this much let's be perfectly honest but you can still see it's given us a figure of 1381 kilowatt hours this visualization gives a good idea of the sun height throughout the months and as you can see december very very low june very very high now a quick shout out to Tom and Tok from Spirit Energy who had a little crack at uh, looking at this wall for me and they did some very rough figures anyway, just an initial idea and they of course couldn't factor in too much of the shade in because we'd need measurements of the property next door and all those kind of things but Tot came up with a similar sort of figure he thought that four panels would be something like 1264 kilowatt hours per year um, which is probably more accurate than my stab in the dark here on PVGIS at 1381 but what does that actually equate to so this month of November we could really do with some extra solar generation I'll show you why in a second an extra 77 kilowatt hours of generation that would be very very welcome actually why don't i just give you an idea of why we need some more solar generation all right this day as you can see here is the 20th of november and this is from my sunsync inverter you can see the battery charging and then the battery starting to discharge here from 5 30 if i just take these other bits away for a second and the green shows the solar generation and the blue line shows my battery discharging and then sort of stabilizing and a bit of charge and a bit of solar. And then as we hit midday, you watch the solar just drops off a cliff. 
because it's southeast facing of course so i get some reasonable morning generation and then the battery just discharges and depletes and you can see the state of charge which is soc on that day we scrape through down to seven percent depth of discharge um with or state of charge that is not um a comfortable place to be in and it's not particularly healthy for the batteries to be discharged down to seven percent every single day um, luckily then the uh, period the recharge period kicked in and it quickly recharged back up for the use on the 21st which again we discharged down to what was that 12 percent there i think we discharged the battery down to um and similar sort of scenario there actually this day may be a better day what am i doing because of there you go no cloud no interruption and that shows the solar generation along with the battery state of charge and once again you can see well there it starts to drop off at 11 30 but by 12 o'clock it's very very fast and then by one o'clock we are we've got enough energy to keep the inverter running but not much more so that's why we're looking at something this orientation um what else did I want to try? So the generation, the forecast was for four panels. So what happens if we increase that up to eight panels? So four kilowatt peak, that would then double our numbers, give us generation in November of 154.84 kilowatt hours. Um, that is quite substantial. Because once again, if I go have a look at the whole month of November, what have we generated so far? 170 kilowatt hours. And we've only got a couple of days in November left. So in theory, adding eight panels onto the southwest gable could uh, not quite double our generation. And we there will be some increased shading, especially if we start looking at the... Uh, eight panel solution there'll be less shading on the four panels but as we increase further back along that wall then we will experience more shading the two panels at the top as we showed in the time lapse maybe won't uh, provide as much shading so what do you think about this um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments we're in the research phase and perhaps this will be another project to come in the coming year in 2026 of course we are installing another inverter and that inverter has two string inputs and one of those strings is being used for my solar shed which we're just wrapping up an extra three kilowatts that solar shed will actually help us uh, feel this gap a little bit um, because it gets a different kind of shading so it actually does uh, bring a little generation during that time uh, but what do you think about wall mounted solar it's quite interesting actually to see the generation curve throughout the year it's quite it's a relatively flat generation curve for wall mounted solar if for example i decrease this down to a 30 degree roof look at that more typical the kind of bell curve um, diminishes a lot down in December but then you get much higher gains in June I don't need any more summer generation I'm already uh, occasionally get a bit of clipping because I get up against my export limit for the grid so I won't benefit from any more some summer generation I'm only looking at supplementing my winter generation the only other option, of course, is uh, forget all of that and uh, just fit more batteries. And then don't worry about getting down to 10%, uh, 7% uh, state of charge. Maybe I just need 40 kilowatt hours of battery instead of 20 kilowatt hours. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Like the video and comment and subscribe and all of those other things. And uh, you'll see me again very shortly. Farewell.